These are pretty cool posters, huh? Yeah, yeah, go pick some up. Definitely, use the code on screen as well. I would greatly appreciate that. These posters are not gonna be around forever. Enjoy the video. Boys, we're gonna be starting off on round 100. Okay, not round one, 100. And we're gonna be doing it on the Chronicles maps. I have a mod, I will leave a link to that in the description, you can download, that'll start you off on round 100. It gives you 60 seconds, one full minute to figure out everything. Your loadout, your gobble gum, opening up the map, etc. I did the insane mod on the standard ones, and in that video I said if we reached the light goal, which we did, I would do that mod on all of the Chronicles maps as well. But I figured instead of just repeating the same thing, we actually do something different and interesting. Without further ado, Ishkin. Round 100 on BO3 Noct is going to be interesting. I've obviously never gotten this far in this map. Looks like the Gobblegum we're rolling with is Power Vacuum. Wow, this is intense. Okay, I only have 50 more seconds, so I gotta open this up. I'm going to leave that door closed just so I can train on the corresponding side. I can't get any... I can. I can spin again, I guess. Uh, fuck it, we're taking dead shot boys. Whatever we get. The first four that we get. Uh, great power will actually be super helpful. I'm gonna spin this. I do not have time to be messing around here, kids. I only have 20 seconds of life left in me. Okay, what did I get up there? Run, 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 run. Tim, what did you get? What did you get? You got Widow's Wine. That's clutch. What did we get down here? Oh, we got the best gun of the game! It's officially started. I'm gonna take whatever perk this is, and we're just gonna rock with it. Quick revive. Okay, that could be worse, I suppose. So, now that this door is closed, we can train in this area. I don't know how long we're gonna last, man. This is a very small map, and they're already pissed. They're already pissed! This is a lot like the Insane mod. I mean, they're all really fast and strong, but... I mean, we're just on round 100, and that's just how they are on this round, you know what I mean? I'm already gonna die! I can see it. I can see... I literally don't have any sort... I don't have enough firepower to fucking kill these guys. Are you kidding me? I don't even know if these Mustang and Sally's are gonna kill them! They did it! I'm dead, so I'm dead, so Wow, that was really quick. That's what she said. That was the quickest high round attempt of all time. Round 100. Beat that in two minutes. Half the game I spent setting up and the other half dying. <laughs> Alright, let's hop into... Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Here we are in Verruxed. We're gonna have this Gobblegum set up for all of the World of War maps that do not have a pack munch machine, so... Uh, I don't know what this is. I can't even see what's going on yet. I got bullet boost, and I don't have a pack a bunch of gun yet. That's no bueno. And I can't afford another one! Am I realistically expected to open up the entire map, turn on power, and get a loadout in 60 seconds? That is horseshit, my friend. Speed call is gonna save me. It's gonna be the difference maker here. Oh my god. Alright, um, here's what we're gonna do. We'll loop around here. Alright. Uh, just pop one of these so I can actually have a chance at surviving, possibly, potentially. All right, while we have this time, we should actually probably just run for our motherfucking life. Hogativity in the chat. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. A death machine and an insta-kill is my only shot at survival here. There's not a strategy here. There's not a thing I can do that's gonna save me. <laughs> no matter what. No matter what I do, I know I'm screwed. At least on the World of War maps, I cannot be fucked with. I figured it out, boys. Traps. Traps will do it. Except they're pouring through these barriers, so it's actually not gonna help at all. In fact, you know, I'm already surrounded. I have to make a run for it! Fuck. Double tap's gonna save me this time. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no! Gino Numa time, baby. Crate power is not that bad at all. Thank you for the 50,000 points. I'm gonna open up this door. I'm probably just going to pack a punch whatever comes up first to save time for myself. <laughs> I wanna die. I think I'm gonna have enough time to open up this area and then I'm gonna go over to the fishing hut area with the flogger and see if I can get some of that. Good old damage done there. What do we got? Speed Cola, not all that great. Near-death experience, though. That's actually huge. I do need a quick revive, though, I think. Really hoping for quick revive here. Ooh, wait, does that mean quick revive's in spawn? Oh, yeah! I forgot that quick revive is actually in spawn in Black Ops 3. Because in all the other versions, it's not. Well, that was sad. I, You know, if I had actually gotten quick revive with near-death, I think I actually would have been invincible. I'm going to change crate power to wall power because crate power isn't all that reliable. And we're done with the World War maps anyways, so... Our survivability rate has gone up from 0% to possibly 1%. So let's do some Kino. We got some real winners here as perks. I'm gonna <laughs> spin and see if I can get the Thunder Gun. If I can get my hands on a Wonder Weapon, that would be a completely different story. And when I say Wonder Weapon, I, I mean Thunder Gun, obviously, because the Ray Gun is doo-doo. And I think the Mark II is on this map. I don't know how good the Mark II is on round 100, but hopefully okay. Ray Gun Mark II. Oh yes, Dad. I'm gonna throw a Monkey here, and we'll, we'll just see how good this is on round 100. The answer is not very. Let's see how good this is. Not very. <laughs> okay, so every wonder weapon that isn't an infinite damage wonder weapon is not good on round 100. Oh, that was avoidable. Let's get this fire trap going, eh? 
Let's see how good that is. If I can get this thunder gun, I might be set. Ow. That wasn't a thunder gun. What if it's a space monkey round, except they're not actually little monkeys, they're giant gorillas. Wall power. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I should probably grab... You know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that uh, because it's close and it's in that little training pocket over there. I'm going to see if I can get some sort of... <gasps> Perfect! Perfect. Well, I know there is a pack of punch machine on this map, but this makes it a lot more convenient. I really think if there is an opportunity to get past 100, it would be on this map. It's just such an easy map. I know it's going to take a long time. Like, round 100 is not a quick round. It is a very long round. I've gotten to round 100 on this map specifically, BO3 Ascension, actually, and I obviously streamed it, and that was one of the bigger things that ever happened on my channel. Only time I ever got to round 100, because that's the only time I ever cared to. In my case, I was running classics only when I got to round 100 on this map, but, uh... Of course this time not so much those rounds took forever it was dreadful not to mention it was like four in the morning when i was doing this and i was deliriously tired on top of it it was like an eight hour round 100 attempt i gotta find some time for some widow's wine no 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 damn it i think while i have this insta kill i gotta go take advantage of it I, it's running out and i don't well what i was gonna say was i should go grab jug but the game was just like nah Oh, what? That was nuts. Thankfully, I didn't have that long, horrible buildup to this point where I'm already exhausted and I already want to blow my brains out. I spawned in on this round, so I have all the energy and juice in the world to get through this round. Whereas, like I said, when I did this the legit way, uh, boy, I wanted to just end my life. Nope. I was so close. I think I was at least midway through that round. Unfortunately, dude, I think that was the map I had to do that on. I don't think I'm going to be... Round 100. I don't think I'm going to get past this round. Unless... Now for the hardest map of all time, Shangri-La. I don't know if that's actually true, but it is a very difficult map. Oh, look at that, guys. Now that the round has officially begun, let's see. Nope, it looks like the mod maker stuck it to 100. If I get the baby maker, that would be splendid. I think that's my only shot here. Oh, well, I get the mark too. Yeah, well, I mean, as we learned, it's terrible, so I may as well just trade it in. Here's the problem, kids. I don't know what to do. I'm just, I'm dead. There's, there's no hope. Oh, I did survive 101 rounds. Look at that. This is really weird. It's still round one. It's an authentic round one right now, but it's also not because I have almost 50,000 points already. Gersh devices will help me. The wave gun will help me. QEDs, possibly. Those are the only things that'll help me. Also, looks like I need to round rob, round rob around I mean. the anti-gravity is slowing them down significantly number one and number two if we can make it to the biodome we will be perfectly fine there is an ample amount of space in there i really bordering catastrophe don't see myself dying in the biodome if i can kill the novas i can subsequently kill the other ones so if i can aim for these novas get the job done here the problem is an unpack a punched gun on a triple digit round is not particularly great i'm thinking about it and now i've sort of come to the realization midway through recording this that this gameplay is interesting but really doesn't lead anywhere it's not like i'm gonna continue the high round you know what i mean it's just like let's get to round 200 now yeah 13 hour recording that would take a lot longer than 13 hours i kind of just wanted to see if i could survive past round 100 and i did the cheating way with round robin not the authentic way this gersh device will certainly make things easier it's the only infinite damage wonder weapon i've gotten so far a whole mag! A whole mag! Did you see that? A whole mag could not kill one zombie. I think going for headshots with a Mark II is a lot better of an idea. I think it has a really good headshot multiplier. And I might be able to go back to moon. Or not moon. I'm on the moon. I might be able to go back to earth and pack a punch. Oh, no, I can't. And lastly, but not leastly, Northern France, 1918. Origins on round 100 to start off. I'm gonna poo myself. What if there's a big old mean, scary panzer waiting for me, you know? Like, that sounds like kind of intimidating. I guess we'll get <laughs> the power on. I don't know how much that even matters, but uh, what do we get here? Round robin? We, we, dude, we ball him with these round robins. Should I be going directly for the box, right? To, to get what though? There's nothing in there. That's going to help me kill zombies on this round. The stabs obviously would in their fully upgraded forms, but I don't have that to work with. I don't have that luxury right now. I don't think I'm going to have time to go build the ultimate wind staff. <laughs> nope. Back off, ho. Is the right robot foot? No. I was not going to live through that no matter what. Am I going to... What's going to happen right here? Am I just dead? Dead. 
What? What? I'm gonna die right now, no matter what I do. That was fun and pretty much impossible. Guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Go check out all of the links in the description. Again, go check out the posters, the G Fuel, all of that. Use the codes. I love you very much. And so does Tokyo. Goodbye, friends. Go do a good deed. Go help somebody cross the street. Do people ever need help crossing the street anymore? Maybe somebody without legs. I don't know.